Napoli won the first leg of Serie A 2022-23. Napoli just won 2-0 at Sampdoria's field yesterday morning. Thereby, they won the first leg of Serie A two rounds early, leaving the opponent chasing right behind by seven points. This is good news for Luciano Spalletti's teachers and students, but it doesn't mean they will easily conquer the Scudetto. Napoli won the first leg of Serie A this season. The 2-0 victory at Sampdoria's field helps Spalletti's team continue to monopolize the top of the table with 44 points. They are 7 points more than the two teams chasing behind, Milan and Juve, while the first leg only has two rounds. Spalletti's teachers and students should not have won the first leg in this round. However, the crazy last minutes in the Sansero helped Napoli finish early. At home, despite having the advantage of leading two goals, Milan suddenly let Roma level the gap in just three minutes before the referee blew the whistle to close the match. But winning the first leg does not mean that the Scudetto will go to the Napoli players. What happened in Serie A in the last two seasons is the best proof. Specifically, in the 2021-22 season, Inter won the first leg, but Milan was the champion at the end of the season. A season before, on the contrary, Milan was number one in the first half of the season, but it was Inter that won the Scudetto. Napoli is also too clear on the meaninglessness of the title of the first leg. Remember in the two seasons of 2015-16 and 2017-18, the home team of Diego Armando Maradona was very strong at that time. They all finished the first leg in first place. But it was Juve who won the Scudetto after the season ended. That is a bloody lesson that Spalletti's teachers and students need to learn in the second leg of the season, to avoid going into the same pit. There is no denying the fact that Napoli is having a great advantage in the Serie A championship race. However, ahead of them is a very tight schedule. In the next round, Spalletti's students will have to welcome Juve, the opponent is determined to overthrow Napoli. Then at the end of January, they had to face another bloody team, Roma in round 20. If you look at what Napoli have shown recently, especially in the match against the host Sampdoria, fans of the home team Diego Armando Maradona have reason to worry. On the field of Comunale Luigi Ferraris, the away team's performance was not really impressive. They won three points mainly by kicking more than people, and were awarded a penalty. In short, although Napoli won the first leg of Serie A this season, the road to conquering the Scudetto was still stormy for Spalletti's teachers and students.